Hello guys and welcome to a short SF Caddy version 2.3 tutorial. I assume you are familiar with the SF Caddy tool, but if you are not, you can find a link to the full tutorial in the video description. With the SF Caddy tool version 2.3, it is possible to create a lip sync where each mouth shape can have its own animation. So how do we do that? So as you can see here, we have a pre-comp with different mouth shapes. When we enter inside the pre-comp, we will see that each layer has its own 10 frame animation. Although here the duration of each layer is 10 frames long, the duration can actually be from 2 frames long and more. The more frames the layers have, the smoother and longer the animation will be. By the way, the layers don't have to be shape layers with animation, it can be any type of layer with animation. Ok, now we'll go back to the main composition and when the mouth precomp is selected click on the load items button in the SF Caddy panel. And as you can see, for each mouth shape a button will be created, each will contain the layer animation. And when we hover with the mouse over the button, we can see a tooltip that explains some features of the tool. For now, I will select and click the button. This mouth shape is added to the timeline with its animation. The animation of the mouth is represented by two keyframes, the first of which will be a linear keyframe representing the beginning of the animation, and the second keyframe which is a hold keyframe representing the end of the animation. If I bring the last keyframe closer to the first keyframe, the animation will be faster. And if I space between the keyframes, we will see that the mouth animation is slower. And I will also be able to select the two keyframes and move them and thus change the timing of the animation. We will return the animation to its original location. I will press the second button, this mouth is added with its animation to the timeline and as before we can change the timing of the animation as well as speed up or slow down the animation. The same thing we can do with the rest of the mouth and that way we can create a cool lip sync to our character. Plus, if we want to add a mouth shape and have its animation play backwards, we will have to hold down shift on the keyboard and press the desirable mouth shape button. I will demonstrate. I will select the button of the shape of the mouth and press it. The O added to the timeline with its animation where the mouth opens from a small mouth to a bigger mouth. And if we want the same animation to be played backwards, we will hold down the shift key and press the same button which will add us the animation of the O just reversed. That is it for now guys, you can find this After Effects file in the download folder next to the tool in the folder called Character Example. Feel free to share with us the funny lip sync video you create and we will be happy to share them out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye!